We're on the road to 750 subscribers. When we hit 750 subs, we're gonna be giving away this black standard boost. To enter, all you have to do is subscribe and comment down below. PC and PlayStation only. Let's get right into the video. Hey guys, what's up? Back with another video already. So a lot of stuff has been happening in Rocket League lately, which is pretty cool. Um, but this video is about how to get the new goal explosion, and it's similar to the previous fan clash. Um, if you remember from Worlds, they did a fan clash where everyone could pick a team, and then they would choose a winner by how much the fans of the teams grinded Rocket League. Um, I think it's the same premises now, but it's for the World Cup and everyone's choosing a country. So let's check this out. All right, so this is the website here. This is how you sign up. Rocket League Fan Clash FC Cup looking great. Let's see, sign up and get the Footy Fanatic Player title. So I think everyone that signs up gets this. Uh, I'm not gonna sign up just yet. Join your favorite country and play alongside other fans. Your goals, assists, and saves will contribute to your team's overall score. Track your personal and team stats through the dashboard after signing up so yeah this is just kind of like last time so if you sign up your every goal assist and save you get will end up contributing towards your country score and i think it's an average of how many people sign up per team or per country so it's not just going to be a popularity contest like what's the biggest country or how many people signed up for the most popular one which is good i guess because like you know you don't want to just like give whoever has the most people in their country a uh, free reward at the end of the event each team will receive rewards like rare very rare and import drops even the titanium white nike fc 2022 goal explosion view the full placement reward all right let's check out the rewards all right our first place is going to get a title the goal explosion and an import drop second through fourth we'll get the goal explosion oh so that's good because last time you had to get first to get the goal explosion and it was kind of i don't know it's kind of cutthroat because like say you got um second or third you did pretty good like no you just you can never have the goal explosion now all right whatever which I, I ended up getting the goal explosion so i was pretty happy about it but i bet a bunch of people didn't and they're kind of sad and then as it goes down you just get less and less drops and less and less good drops all right so let's sign up join your favorite country all right so this is like okay this isn't quite as simple as just picking the biggest country or the most popular country or something so you have to pick which country is gonna grind the game the most and i kind of want to pick france because i know french people love this game and are like huge grinders if i don't pick usa and then usa wins i'm gonna feel really stupid i'm just gonna go usa like a lot of people play here so all right, there's no going back. Are you sure you want to play for Team USA? All right, let's go. All right, my stats. The show who's winning. No, oh my God, USA is not even on here. Netherlands, Germany. The Germans. Okay, how far down are we gonna have to scroll to get to US? Bro, fi oh my God, dude. This might've been the dumbest decision I ever made. Dude, we're second to last. Costa Rica is beating us? No way. Bro. Where is France? France is fifth. Dude, that's the one I should have picked. As long as Denmark's losing. Where's Denmark? I always, ha, 25th. Suck it, guys. All right, guys. So that's how to get the goal explosion. Understanding how to get it is pretty simple, but getting it isn't going to be very simple because you have to like convince everyone that picked your country to grind this game for a long time to get tons of goals assists and saves it's kind of cool i like it uh i probably wouldn't use it that much um i'm probably not going to use it at all because usa is second to last yeah so like i, I don't know i kind of hope i win but oh well if i don't even if you don't get the goal explosion there's a ton of other stuff in this event and a lot of it is free so let's check that out all right so we're in rocket league now this is i already got my footy fanatic i'll equip that sure all right so these are all the challenges for the nike fc cup um i played a bit with coral earlier we lost like 13 games in a row it wasn't very fun um let me move my camera again all right i'm just gonna turn it off for now so if you play one game you get all the banners and after that you just pick one banner to equip 
and you play essentially every single game mode in casual, 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, and even 4v4. Play five competitive soccer matches while using any country banner. I think these extra modes count for that because I only, I didn't play comp and I played two snow day matches. This you can probably ignore. You can just play these. But then we have all the extra modes you have to play as well. And each one of these gets you a different region like North America for Rumble, Northern Europe for snow day. That makes sense. It's cold in Northern Europe. They're probably good at hockey. But we also have the 20k XP bonus. That's great for people trying to tear up the rocket pass since we're getting kind of closer to the end on that. And then we get one golden egg, I think, if you complete six of these challenges. But let's open the few I have already. All right, these are all Octane. Um, I don't use the Octane, but okay. Czech Republic, taking the walk to Poland and Ukraine. That was for Eastern Europe. Let's see how those look. Federation decals. All right, Ukraine, that looks all right. Matches our colors. It's pretty similar. They all seem to have just a shield in the middle and then the colors of the flag. Nike Federation decals, Poland. Oh, this one's cool. So some of the countries are sponsored by Nike. Uh, good to hear. Let's claim the other ones I got. All right, this one is the Middle East. Iran, great, love it. Probably infected by Stuxnet. Saudi Arabia, cool. Octane, Turkey. All right, so this one's a Nike one too. Uh, Qatar, Nike as well. Um, let's just claim these all right now. And this one is Asia and Oceania. Japan, equip that. China, good. Korea, sponsored by Nike. New Zealand, sponsored by Nike. All right, let's take a look at these. Oh, the Japan one's cool. That's clean. They have different wheels and like red standard or something. That's cool. It's clean. I like it. Oh, this one's nice. Good job, Korea. I'm guessing this is south. They kind of snubbed North Korea here, not gonna lie. I'd like to see some representation, please. New Zealand, black and white, cool. Qatar, great. Turkey, hey, yeah, pretty cool. So it looks like all the Nike ones are pretty similar. They have like the swoosh here in the same spot and this like engineered sample thing back here. Yeah, kind of, kind of samey, but it's still, still cool. Okay, Federation decals. We look at these. China, the Chinese colors, perfect. Czech, we saw that. Iran, Japan, we saw that. Cool. Saudi Arabia, green and white. I believe that's their colors, at least on the flag here. Oh, there's one last thing to show you. So there's more Nike things in the item shop as well. Uh, the goal explosion here. Um, I mean, it's kind of cool if you're a huge Nike fan, which, whatever. Um, I'm not gonna spend 500 on it, I'll tell you that much for now. Uh, let's see what this is. This is uh, the new Copper Octane one. Pretty cool. The Dominus one, I, oh, like, I'm not a huge fan of like buying Nike stickers or something, but they do look pretty cool like whatever the artist is that like made these i think did a good job um i think they're kind of based on the shoe designs i don't know nike shoe lineup so i can't tell you for sure but i would imagine this looks similar to a shoe they make uh this one i i think is really cool the color isn't great like this brown red burgundy isn't my favorite um but i do like it and, and i did buy it uh I kind of like, I like the idea that they're doing these things with Nike. Here, I'll just show you the last one. Um, that they're getting kind of like outside designers to work on decals. So I think Fortnite does that well, cause they have like Balenciaga and I don't know if they have like Gucci and stuff like that. Like um, famous clothes brands and designers and stuff who like spend time designing clothes will make either a version of that or a new thing all together like a new Fortnite outfit which i think is cool because you're bringing like people who are good at being creative in a certain way into a video game and 
bringing that creativity there because I don't necessarily think like Rocket League's bad at making items, but they kind of make a lot of the same items because they're the same kind of creative organization. Anyway, I'm glad they're bringing in like outside creativity. I wish they'd do that like maybe with like just general like graphic artists or fans even would be cool. Uh, just people who are, are like designers in general, you know, like people that have a new different way of being creative. Um, that's a good thing about these Nike things. The bad thing is that you're paying for an ad, you know, it's kind of lame, but whatever. Uh, this is all the stuff we looked at. I could have got the bundle. Oh, that is another good thing. You can buy just one of the, the items. And so that was 300, which I thought was, you know, it was pretty cheap. That's why I bought it. Um, let's check up here on icons. This is a new thing. So this, oh, this one looks cool. I really like this design. Dang. Like the swoosh is metallic, but this is like kind of like flat or like knit looking. Man, that looks great. I wish this was Dominus, but you know, it's only Octane. Um, 300 credits. That's a good price. Like this is pretty cool. Anyways, that's everything that's new. There's a lot of stuff in here. Um, I'm glad to see Psyonix is still putting a lot of effort into these things. So we just had the Whiplash thing not too long ago, which I guess was more of a Fortnite event that you got an item in Rocket League for. Uh, but there's a lot of stuff happening in the game lately, and that's cool to see. But thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.